Last year, they called me Mr. Starmaker, and I'm right here with my million dollar dog, Miss Prius. We've done 12 days of Christmas. She's had an outfit on for every night. But tonight was the grand finale. She's got her little hat on right there. She's got her Santa Claus outfit <laughs> on tonight. Goodness gracious, Miss Pris. That's got to be cute as a button. You like that, baby? I don't know whether she likes a little bonnet over her head or not, but I just want you folks to see that. That's as cute as a speckled pup right there. <laughs> Come on, Miss Briss, come over on your bed. Show them what, you, what Santa Claus brought you. He brought you that orthopedic bed. There we go. She's scratching away there now. Goodness gracious, Miss Briss. She's feeling Mr. Orthopedic, ain't you, baby? Yes, she is. You know what? We didn't even get to. She's got a little angel outfit we didn't even get to. It's got a little halo over the head. Maybe next time we're going to have to start 15 days of Christmas so we can squeeze all the outfits in, folks. Hey, folks, I hope you're having a great holiday. Here we're on the 25th. We're sitting here in front of the fireplace. And good or bad, folks, it's almost over. And just a few more hours left of Christmas. And, you know, we was reading the email today, and it's funny how people get disconnected of what really goes on in people's lives. You know, sometimes maybe they just don't know, or maybe they just, uh, I'll tell you what I believe it is, folks. I'm going to just give you a little bit of straight talk here. People tell you what they think they want you to hear because it sounds extremely nice. But in, in the real world, you know, I was sitting uh, watching the TV today and they come out with a statistic and the statistic was this. 93% of the people don't want to spend Christmas holidays with their friends or family. That means only 7% wants to be with friends and family. You know, that's sad in a way, but you know that's true. But you know, you get all these emails saying, I know you're having a great time with your family. Statistically speaking, only 7% of you out there are. The other 93% is just not there for whatever reason or another. So I just want to talk straight to you now, folks. Sometimes the best way to get along with your family and your friends is just be rich. Just succeed in life. You know, I know that people say, well, you know, your voice sounds like a cash register. Money's not everything. No, money's not everything. It ranks right up there with air, though. You know, people respect you a whole lot more if you're not poor. I know that don't make you a better person, but just a fact, it's just a fact, just like that 93% of the people out there don't want to be with friends and family. Look, you can't do anything for anybody if you're poor. It just don't work. People don't respect you, and yeah, I don't believe you can love somebody you don't respect. So look, what you need to do in the next 12 months, and I'm going to say it, and it's going to sound like an ugly word, you need to get rich. You need to do something you've never done in 2014. There's a button right down below me right there. And you know, I'm probably the only person that will go on the internet and really tell you what you really need to know, not what you want to hear. I always am up front and straight and tell you exactly what you need to hear. Because, see, that way you can help yourself, you know. You, you can be happy and successful in life. You know, you are just about 12 months now from living the life that you really want to live. You know, 12 months from right now, you can be in that Waikiki sand down in Hawaii. If that's where you <laughs> want to be with your feet stuck in that hot sand. And you're sending pace, postcards to everybody in your family saying, wish you was here. You're 12 months. You are decision away. Look, there's a button right down below me. It says, watch it now. What you need to learn in the next 12 months, you need to know what the people that's on the internet know that you don't, that's making money. 
2% of the people are making the money. We're going to show you step-by-step -step methods exactly how to do it. But hey, look, I didn't come here to pitch a sale to you tonight. I truly wish you a happy holiday. We're going to show you more of our home probably tomorrow. Uh, uh, take a tour of maybe the kitchen in the media room. We just want to share it with you. We, we want you to be happy. We want you to have a happy life. And for that, uh, Miss Priest, a million dollar dog, showed her outfits for you. And we spoke to you every day during this Christmas holiday. And I hope it has been one of the special times that you have during the day that you can sit down in just five minutes, just relax, and just have a fun time. I'm going to be right back here tomorrow doing the same thing because, see, you are somewhere in the future, and the future looks better than it does right now. And I want to wish each and every one of you out there a very, very Merry Christmas, which is almost over, but you know, a Happy New Year uh, in 2014 because it can be your year. I'll see you tomorrow. Come on, Miss Priest. Miss Priest. Good gracious, baby. Oh, she wants her belly rub. Good gracious, she needs her little belly rub. Okay, Miss Prince, let's see if we can get this right here for you. Good gracious, let me set that up for you right there. Yeah, she's got a